So he was found on a farm. We think he was there for two or three days, but obviously yeah. this has happened over the last couple of months at yeah. least. The matting isn't, you know, is a, is a long-term thing. That's horrible. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. All right. Oh, he's shaking. Yeah. OK. Can I pick you up? All right. When a dog's been really, really neglected, they just shut down. All right. There we go. It's almost like they've just given up. Do you have a name for him at all? Go for Grant. We'll call him Grant. He's a little old man now. Yeah. Hey. Okay. All right, mate. When you see an animal in that kind of state, when you kind of comprehend what that animal might have been through, you just want to fix it straight away. They need you to be there for them. Come on, mister. We're getting better. Get you fixed up. Hey. Okay. He's shut down, massively shut down. Doesn't even want to move. I honestly don't think he's even okay. going to flinch. Ready? Yeah. Yay! So brave! Is he going to be a bit bald? He's going to be a little bit bald. We'll make it all grow back, won't you, mate? Yeah. That's huge. So you can see how close it is to the fur. Yeah. It's completely heartbreaking just to even look at him because he's clearly in so much pain, especially with the matting all down his back. He couldn't really see, his eyes were all gunky. So I think had he been much longer, he probably would have got too poorly and not made it. He's probably like, I can feel the wind. <laughs> look at you, bear Hello. bum. Sorry, sweetheart. A little bear bum. Just doing that, he's already kind of got to a point where he's like, OK, I'll come a bit closer now and I'm not as scared. There's sass in there yet. If you've got a dog that's shut down, we do absolutely everything to get those wheels turning and get them happier. Whether it's going into a quiet office for a cuddle, have a nap. Some dogs love just to be in a quiet space and have a snooze. Anything that you can kind of boost them. Here you go. Good boy. He's so hungry. He's like all over it, aren't you? What was that stray that came in? Grant. He is very strange looking, but he very is, cute. I mean, yeah, I ignore the fact that he looks a little bit like a gremlin. <laughs> oh, and he's all tiny little around the eyes as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> he's still getting used to being around people and can be nervous of them. Just needs a lot of love, a yeah, lot of love really and attention. Yeah, really does. Not a lot of people would take on a stray with no history. <laughs> we had a look at quite a few dogs, actually, didn't yeah. we? But we felt quite a lot of them just wouldn't cope living on a boat for various reasons. Yeah. But we did find one dog... Okay. <laughs> ..that we think you might like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Grant. OK. We called him that because he was actually a stray, and I know you didn't mind, obviously, taking on a dog that perhaps yeah. came from a bit of a difficult background. Yeah. He was actually found on a field where he'd been for three days. He's really friendly with people. He just takes a little bit of time to warm up. Okay. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Oh, it sounds really nice. Sounds really good. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Okay. Great. Great news. Awesome. All right, well, good luck. <laughs> Thank you, girl. For me. Oh. Good boy. Give you a bath. Ready? Should we get you a little quiff? Wow. When he came in, he wasn't looking that great. But he's come a long way. Oh, a nice massaging. He sounds really cute. Oh, bless him. I can't believe he's a stray. I know. I grew up thinking that you grew up, you knew what you wanted to do, and you just stuck with that. Like, you made a decision and you were like, that's it. In my head, he's grey. I don't know why. I don't know. We don't know yet until we meet him. <laughs> I was at medical school. It seemed like the the done thing to make my family happy and even though they never pressured me or anything that just seemed like a the wise thing to do oh it's nice. cute in here isn't it it's cool. wow i definitely have like always felt 
quite different and but just never really acknowledged that like I was like in the closet for like a super long time and then even when I came out I was like it's okay that I'm gay because I'm going to be a doctor. He sounds like a nice person, nice dog. Nice person, nice dog, yeah. Then I was just like that's not how I want to live, that's not how I want to spend my life and I've just quit. It was a big decision and it was a big thing. Now we're both choosing what makes us both happy. Yeah. Being in nature. And being able to have a bit of freedom, even if that doesn't, if that means like having not very many things. We can be who we are. Mm. Good boy, yeah. Over the bridge. In the boat, it's a safe space for a little dog to be whatever it wants to be and be however it needs to be. Hope for every single dog. Every dog that comes in, there's hope. Come on, bud. You look cold. <laughs> Come on, bud. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. My name is David. Hi, Hi, David. And this is Grant. Hi, Grant. He's a little nervous, but he comes around. He's really, really sweet. Come on, pal. Come over here. You can do it, bud. Yeah. It's OK. It's OK. He's so little. He's so cute. He's so cute. Mm. Bless him. Lots of new things going on. He's just apprehensive. It's almost like he's expecting them to be not very nice yeah. to him, which is heartbreaking. It is. If they are traumatised by things that have happened to them in their life, you have to rebuild their trust all over again. No, it's fine. It's fine, mate. It's all good. It's all good. Every dog's different. You don't know how long they're going to take to come out of their shell. Grant! Grant! We are both That's quite introverted it. and can be quite shy and, like, keep to ourselves a bit. So I think I understand that in a dog. You want to play, Grant? You want it? <laughs> it's just about making them feel as safe as possible with you and making them feel like you're, you're a good place to be. Come on, Grant, just go over, even just for a little sniff. Good boy, yeah. Come here, buddy. It's OK. Oh, good boy. Very good. Oh, good boy, it's OK. It's OK. Oh, he loves it. That's a massive, massive step for him. Hello. Hi, are you coming to say hi to me now? Good boy, brave boy. Oh, you're so nice. You've got a very tiny face. I really like him. Me too. Do you like him? Yeah. I know he's nervous and stuff, but it's just... Everyone gets nervous, Gran. It's okay, there's nothing to be shy about. He's a really amazing doggy, Aww. isn't he? He is. He's been through a lot. He's a hero, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope he feels proud of himself. <laughs> gets himself a little bottle of dog beer and <laughs> some little dog chips. <laughs> Let's relax. Yeah. We just have to be confident for him so he I knows know. that everything's fine. Yeah. Good boy. Look. He is independent, yeah. but also really needy. Mm, so handsome, aren't you? You are so handsome. Quite cheeky, quite sassy. Come on in. Good boy. Sit. Lie down. Good boy. He's just always kind of amazing us at how much like, bolder he's getting every day. It's just been magical to see his transformation.